Hello there, we're ready for the Melbourne Cup 2018. I'm Gary Robinson for www.horseracingaustralia.info. You know, you can be a member, get the Melbourne Cup and many major feature races for just $199 for your first year. Here's where you can join www.winform.shopfactory.com slash index.html OK, let's go to the Melbourne Cup and then I'll put this poster back up at the end so you can uh, see where it is and you can get a, a our best race of the day every day of the year, 199 for your first year. OK, and we do get results. All right, let's have a look at the Melbourne Cup now and we're going to have a look at it uh, in a number of ways. As you can see, they're all bunched up here. But we're starting with uh, one program here, and you can see we've got 1, 10, 16, 22, and 2. Uh, we switch to another rating program, and we can see we've got 5, 11, 16, 17, 2. We switch to another one, and we get 5, 10, 22, 16, 11. Uh, then we get 5, 9, 16, 23, 18. Then we get 5, 11, 17, 16, 10. Uh, then we get 11, 10, 13, 19, 22. Uh, then we get 10, 1, 11, 22, 13. Now, what's that telling us altogether? Just let's have a look at uh, my own personal ratings after I've looked at all the field. And this is what I get. Uh, number 11 from 17, 4, 16, 19. Okie doke. So what I'll do, I'll give you a little bit of insight into what my thinking is. And first of all, you can tell that Yucatan... If we look over here, we did a discussion last week on the video, and we're looking for horses that ticked all the boxes. Well, there we go. You can't tick them more than that. It's a green light for every one of our criteria, and that gets number 11, a Yucatan on top. Our rated price is $4.20. You're going to get about $5, but of course, that's going to stifle what we can do on the rest of the race. Uh, Prince of Aaron got in by the uh, skin of its teeth on Saturday, uh, I don't think he was fully out. Well, I hope he wasn't fully out. He actually ran third to Yucatan, ran a great race behind it, has now had two runs since coming here. So that gives us a bit of a fitness edge over Yucatan, which has only had the one. The interesting thing about Yucatan, the horse was a bit of a dud overseas, and yet he's come over here and blown everybody away and could have won by a much bigger space than what he did. Now, the Japanese contender, number four, Chestnut Coat. So what's he done? Um, based on the time he ran when running fifth in a 3,200 metre race in Japan, based on that time, he would win just about every Melbourne Cup ever run. Now, the trick is, is he going to be there at the finish? Can he get this one run? Now, I have to be honest with you and say, Chestnut Coat, if we have a look at him, on uh, slow tracks, he's had two runs, not being placed. On good tracks, 12 starts for four wins and four seconds. When we look at the Caulfield track, it was a very slow run and uh, he was in the mix going through and then just uh, dropped out of it lately. I'm pretty convinced that that's because of the wet track and because of the fact that he prefers um, strong, hard going. Now, the problem is going to be on Tuesday, there is some rain predicted. I doubt that the track would be downgraded more than to a good four or slow five at the very worst. But then you've got to start thinking about whether the horse can cope with that. Ventura Storm, we could call him a local, okay? So at one last start, that was at Mooney Valley Cup and was a very, very, very good run. And uh, the interesting thing is that um, if we go way back, if we go back to last year, the horse was going quite well in the cup. And then all of a sudden, it says I here got the tongue over the bit, better no abnormalities. But in actual fact, it turned out there was a problem. He's had a um, operation on his throat and has improved dramatically since that day. We'll do a lot better this year. And uh, he's also been gilded, of course. So Charles Road ran third in the Sydney Cup. So um, even though it's an import, is uh, a local now and is going to be at a fabulous price of around 90 to 1. Then you've got the um, Geelong Cup winner uh, gets into this. And uh, number 21, so it's going to get on a very light weight. And number 13, Finch, as you can see, that ran third in the Geelong Cup. Now, some of the other form, we look at uh, Mataha, which has uh, been very popular. Mataha uh, actually ran a track record at York back in the 25th of August. So that was an absolute fabulous run. I've seen the video. It's absolutely amazing. But uh, the problem with York is that it is a track which uh, is a faster track. 
and it does produce other things. So if we go down here, we can look at Marmello. Uh, Marmello, for example, also won at York on the 16th of June, and um, he doesn't rate anywhere near as highly. And of course, in the Cup last year, um, was leading at the turn, and I thought, here we go, he's going to go, and uh, finished ninth. So disappointed us then. So you can see I've got him right down the bottom. Won't fall for that one again. Are we going to get the winner? Well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a hard ask because we've got all this overseas form, which is very hard to compare. But we're running here on local form for Yucatan, a Prince of Aaron. We're forgiving Chestnut Coat its last run and going on the 3,200 metre run uh, in Japan. Ventura Storm, we're going on the Mooney Valley Cup win. And of course, some of its earlier form and Sir Charles Road, as we said, can run the 3,200. So they're the five that are going to be the basis of uh, my... Um, interest in the Cup this year. I think we can do well. Uh, Yucatan doesn't have to improve very much to take this. Okay, he's going to be around $5. There are some places where you can get your money back if it runs second or third or even fourth. Why not uh, have your money on there? So uh, that guarantees your return if that gets up. Have a little bit on uh, Prince of Aaron, which is uh, going to be around the $15 mark. Chestnut Coat, you can currently get $34. Ventura Storm is currently 26 so Charles Road will get uh, around 90 to $100. So uh, there's the opportunity. It's in the hands of the gods other than that because there are just so many of these overseas horses having their first or second run here. It makes it very, very difficult. And just remember, horses that have had their first run in the Melbourne Cup just basically do not win this race. That's why we've got to stick to the ones that have already had a run here at least, and we can do very well. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm just going to go back and give you all the information now. Uh, I'm Gary Robinson for Horse Racing Australia at Info. Remember, for $199 for the whole year, you will get a feature race every day, or rather the best race of the day, almost every day. Uh, you'll get our best bets. And uh, all that information is usually 363 a year. 199, you can have it for the year. Here's where you join. www.winform.shopfactory.com slash index.html. I hope you can uh, get down and get that organised and uh, get in there. And we'd like to invite you to be a member. And I do wish you all the best of luck on Tuesday.